Okay, thank you. Then I come to the fourth question. Yeah, you answer me already partly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, one、well, global issue, but you mentioned already the carbon neutral. But also we have other issue like、uh, population、mm -hmm. increase. Yeah, we it's really become crisis of the population、mm -hmm. increase、mm -hmm. and also relating the population increase food crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, your university has any some strategy or plan to tackle with those global issues?、Uh, yeah, yeah.、Uh, actually, you know, if you,、uh, if you go to a university like Princeton, they、mm -hmm. have an institute for advanced studies.、Mm -hmm. And these are normally focused on、uh, basic research.、Mm -hmm. uh, in、uh, Poly U, we have established something, you know, we, in the Chinese name is similar to theirs. Mm. But English is called the Poly U Academy for Interdisciplinary、mm. Research.、Mm. And so we abbrevi the abbreviation of this is、uh, P A I R, pair. Pair, pair、okay. is going to you know, pair up people to do interdisciplinary research.、Mm. Under this institute,、uh, this is academy, I already mentioned some research institutes. So we have 11. These are things which were. Which have been established since I took up my position. So, we have already established 11 research institutes and、uh, five research centers. And one of these is called Future Food Technology.、Oh. Look at the food, because food、mm. supplies, as you said, and safety is important. Another one is called、yeah. Smart Aging.、Mm. Aging is also an issue related to population.、Yes. We, have, we don't have, a, we don't have a, instead, a look at how the population. Grow or reduce, but we do have a you know, how you supply the food. But we do have a food technology、uh, and this、uh, aging. So,、mm. these are also, I think, these are all global challenges. I see. So, you already have this kind of the activity already. Very good.、Oh. And so, this because this、uh, area, the research has to be interdisciplinary. And、mm. yes, we, we, are very, we are very keen on applications. So, you cannot just、yes. do it and publish. You have、yes. to work together and produce a total solution. Hong Kong Poly, do you have any so social science related? Yes,、uh, we do. You, yes, you we do. do.、Uh, we have social science. We have a, a social science. It's called applied social sciences. I But, see, I we, see.、Um, actually, the social science and the management, we are very well. We were, I think we were ranked within the top 50.、Uh, oh, pretty good. Oh, yeah, so, very good. Like QS or something. So it's not bad.、Mm. Uh, This is,、uh, yeah,、uh, I, I have to find、uh, this、uh, PowerPoint to get. But anyway, it's very, very highly ranked in one way. Yes, or yes.、Mm. Okay. So we do have social sciences, but we,、yes. we have a program in social work.、Mm. It's very、uh, well established because in Hong Kong, social work is a professional job. Yes.、Mm. Oh, I see.、Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. All right, then I come to the next question.、Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe two questions related to the.、Uh, Pandemic, COVID 19 mm -hmm. pandemic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.、Uh, what are the effects of COVID 19 pandemic? Are there any effects on the university policy strategic plan? Or are there any effects on the global activities、mm -hmm. on c o m p o r i u Or are、mm -hmm. there any effects on the education research through the pandemic?、Uh, uh, yes, I think、uh, there are many.、Um... Implications of the pandemic.、Mm. Uh, one thing we、mm. can travel. So, as far as I'm concerned,、uh, over the、yeah. last、uh, three years, I've been president. I've never traveled overseas. So, <laughs> it,、uh, I've been to the mainland <laughs> before、uh, the January 2020. So, it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a different world, right? So, we've, we've、right. focused on our own work.、Mm -hmm. Like, we, we have an international advisory board, but we never. We, we never managed to、uh, reappoint the members because we,、uh, we wanted to visit some of them、mm -hmm. and meetings. So, you know, impossible. And so, the, in, term, in terms of international collaboration exchange, it's quite, quite a big effect. Yes. I understand that because now, if you come back from overseas to Hong Kong, they, they、mm -hmm. have to still go through quarantine, but it's only one week. I think we are going to maybe reduce this further, or people who will be allowed to quarantine at home. So,、uh, gradually, I think this、uh, international travels will resume because、uh, some of my things are all overseas now.、Mm -hmm. Because they are okay you know, to go out for、uh, a month, but come back for、uh, one week、uh, quarantine. Yes, yes. It's kind of tough. So, 
I hope this will resume. And in terms of、um, student intake, I think now、yes, student the intake. pandemic.、Uh, in fact,、uh, also because of the international re- relationships, we we have got a lot more applications from the mainland. I see. Uh, but internationally, the, it's about you know it's static,、mm. not not much.、Um, I think oh actually it, it was、uh, there was some reduction in application in the beginning,、mm. so I think、uh, but we we do we do get a lot more applications from the mainland students. But they can come to Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, that's that's no problem.、Uh, And, no problem,、uh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh, but of course they have to get admitted because now it's a、uh, the competition is very high. Mm, mm, We、okay. take them in to our undergraduate programs and as well as、uh, postgraduate programs. Master so program. Hong Hong Kong government is more flexible. Mainland、uh, Beijing government they yeah, hardly yeah, accept yeah. international students at this. Oh、point. yeah,、uh, mainland I think they no no we. We always have been taking in、uh, mainland students.、Uh, in terms of pandemic、mm. control, mainland is、uh, strict, most strict. Yes. Strict yeah, very strict. strict. Yeah, very strict. I cannot、Hong、have、Kong. any international student in Shenzhen. Oh really? But、yes. they, they come in and they get quarantined.、Uh, should it be okay? But I mean, it's difficult nowadays. So because you have to quarantine.、Right. Oh, even the mainland they have changed the policy. So quarantine is now one week. In the hotel.、Right. Yes, yes. Three days. Three days at home. Yes, that that's correct.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Next question. I think、mm-hmm. this question is your opinion, your own opinion, not the university opinion.、Mm-hmm. What is the、uh, effect of the pandemic to you? To me, oh,、uh. to me. I, as I said, I think I would、uh, have spent more time traveling. Yes. There were no pandemic, so as a result of this pandemic, I had more time in Hong Kong.、Uh, the bad thing is, of course,、uh, we we were not able to do a more international engagement and collaboration. And but the, well, they were then we saved some more time, so we had more time to focus on internal policies. Yes, yes.、Yeah. Oh, okay, then I let me go to the next question.、Uh, mm-hmm. Okay.、Uh, this is somehow related、uh, special condition of Hong Kong.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hong Kong. Yes, it's a kind of the、uh, special district in China, and、mm-hmm. uh, it's a city, right?、Mm-hmm. Mainly city.、Mm-hmm. So the、uh, okay.、Mm-hmm. My question is,、mm-hmm. uh, what? How is the strategy policy of Mm. Hong Kong for you,、mm-hmm. uh, it's because of the you, your university in the Hong Kong. Yeah, compare with the、uh, other university in、mm-hmm. the like、mm-hmm. uh, you know, mo- most of the university in the in the country, not、mm-hmm. a small territory.、Mm-hmm. So, what's the、uh, uniqueness of the、uh, effect on this geographical condition, Hong Kong? Yeah,、mm-hmm. similar situation is probably Singapore, but.、Uh, Yeah,、uh, elaborate somehow. Yeah, we we are. I think、uh, actually we are in a better position than universities in Singapore because we have the. I mean, okay, you know, we can discuss where the Hong Kong government has、uh, invested as much as Singapore in per capita because in you know research investment in Hong Kong is not as high as、yeah. Singapore per person per capita. But in Hong Kong, we have、uh, closer ties with the mainland. As I, I've said, you know, the mainland has. A huge market demand for technology, and so we, we do have this advantage of uh, you know uh, translating our research into、um, you know、uh, products and、yeah. have them used in the mainland. So my view is, in, once the border uh, travel is uh, restriction is lifted, I would、uh, encourage people from PolyU to seek out opportunities in major economic centers in China, many big many big cities. And because to match the research at the Poly U with their industrial needs,、mm. to set up many translational、uh, research centers where the money, the space is、uh, provided by them. If it's useful,、mm. they, you know, if it's not useful to them, they will not do it. But then we will not pursue it. And this way, we can do a very good,、um, uh, have a very good ecosystem of having our research very well done in Hong Kong, the big research,、mm. and translate them into the mainland. So I think.、Uh, Uh, this is how we want to do it. Now, what's the difference between us and the mainland universities?、Um, 
we are actually funded uh, separately, you know, the university in Hong Kong don't get money from the mainland directly. Uh, 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 neither uh, do the mainland universities from Hong Kong. And the system is also different. In Hong Kong, the university system is, uh, we, because in the mainland, the universities are under the Ministry of Education or under the Provincial uh, Bureau of Education. But in Hong Kong, we have a university grants committee between yeah. us and the yes. Bureau of Education. And uh, the way we run it is more like the Western, you know, British, Australian kind of, yeah. I guess it's similar to UK, Australia, and New Zealand. Uh, yeah. so basically the system we have is, is very similar. Over the last 20 years, we have been transforming to become a bit like, you know, more, a bit more like the US universities. Like, it used to be, like our, our mm. HR system, for example, we used to have a lecturer, senior lecturer. Now we have a system. Ah, I see. And also we have a, a tenuring system, like six mm. years. This was not the case in the UK, but uh, we have mm. it. But we are not quite the same we, because we have you know, chair professors, which is not really something mm. that exists in, the, in mm. the United States. So we are a kind of a mixture of the two. Um, but it's we we are you know we are in Hong Kong so every all the teaching is done in English. Uh, Hong Kong is a very open place for people to you know, overseas to come uh, in terms of uh, visa requirement. So we have a unique role to play in, in, in the mainland. Uh, it's a place. It's a it's a different environment for people to live and mm. work. And so yes. some people would prefer you know some prefer to go to the mainland. Some prefer to come to Hong Kong. We we still have a uh, certain uh, attraction advantages. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is a comparison between University of Mainland China and Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, my also question is related. Uh, your your university located mm -hmm. in the city, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hong Kong. So you don't have to much pay attention to the rural area. Well, you mm -hmm. don't have to pay much attention to the agriculture. Mm -hmm. So uh, I. I may guess your university mm -hmm. may have more closer collaboration with the industry yeah. or more closer collaboration of the leading, uh, leading edge uh, technology, mm -hmm. innovation. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. have such kind of advantage because of um, Hong Kong? In, in Hong Kong, in fact, Hong Kong's, uh, yes, we don't have too much agriculture, mm -hmm. but also our strong, our industries and manufacturing is not very strong. Mm, I see. Of course, if you call it tourism an industry, we do have a tourism. I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> manufacturing is not strong. So, mm. uh, agriculture, in fact, I, I was thinking, you know, it's an interesting area nowadays because uh, mm. you can combine agriculture with other things. You know, in uh, mainland, they're trying out uh, agriculture, planting of rice mm. with solar energy, you know, generation, and you can have fish you know, in the water as well. So you combine three kind of activities together. I see, and I see. If you do that, it's, uh, there's a lot of interesting questions to be researched. I see. But uh, we, I think in Hong Kong, the, the most, uh, uh, the strongest sort of activity, industrial activity, mm. and it has been actually uh, construction. Mm, construction. Okay. In terms of engineering. So I if see. you go to the Hong Kong Institution of Engineers, mm largest number of engineers proportion is civil engineers or structural I engineers. See. Yeah, because okay. we do build a lot of buildings, very tall buildings. Right. Right. But now I think as this a few years, there is a lot more interest in areas like, uh, you know, AI, data science, blockchain. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just having lunch with somebody and the, their company is in, uh, in this, uh, you know, uh, uh, crypto called of currency, cryptocurrency, blockchain. This okay. area is also become important. AI, you know. So I think in the future, Hong Kong will have more industrial act, uh, uh, activities. In terms mm. of collaboration, we collaborate with uh, companies in Hong Kong, also companies in the mainland. Some companies very big in Hong Kong. They are also very well connected to the mainland. So it's 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 very well connected. Mm. How about the fintech? Financial fintech, uh, yes, also very important because we have a finance industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, at Poly, we have a bachelor degree program in fintech, mm -hmm. called AI and fintech. We have another program, it's called the Doctor, Doctor of Fintech. It's a <laughs> Doctor of fintech. program of uh, it's a professional doctorate. Mm -hmm. 
I it's see. like a DBA, DBA, you know, Doctor Business Administration. This is like uh, a Doctor of Impact in the Business Faculty. Uh, was the first uh, DBA in, in Hong Kong. So yes, uh, fintech is is uh, is certainly certainly a very important uh, area. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, next question is, uh, I yeah, this is somehow our own question uh, mm -hmm. to have. I mean, excellent quality of achievement by mm -hmm. Hong Kong Poly U. Mm -hmm. I believe somehow diversity is one of the issue, like a mm -hmm. gender diversity or ethnic diversity mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. any other kind of diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, Hong mm -hmm. Kong Poly U, do you have any uh, policy for diversity? And what is the situation of diversity? Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, we. I, I think, you know, in this area, the entire Hong Kong, I would think we do have, we do pay attention to diversity, but I think it's maybe not as advanced mm -hmm. as some, uh, you know, developed country, Western countries. I see. But in terms of student population, it's very balanced. We have about half half. Oh, okay. Uh, of course, it depends on which discipline you go. You know, if you go to yes, yes, yes. Uh, I see. Many more male students. Uh, I see, I see. Uh, uh, staff, I guess, uh, academic staff, I, 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 I don't have the number. Uh, so uh, it's a, um, it's an area I think we should pay more attention. Mm. Uh, this is in terms of gender, but in terms of uh, in terms of uh, talents, you know, we we have just mm. implemented a uh, special admission scheme for people with. Mm. Talent. So, if you are very good in music or painting or dancing, oh, okay. Okay. we okay. take them in, even though their mm. academic achievement is a little weaker or much mm. weaker, uh, quite significantly weaker, mm. I should say. But they have to meet some certain standards so that they can, they can, you know, study the program without difficulty. So, we implemented this this year, and we set up a, a residential college uh, for mm. them for the special. Admission and recognition schemes. Uh, the, the abbreviation is a star, stars, you know, stars. So we are very uh, excited about the prospect of recruiting students with a diverse range of talents. Mm, I see. So um, uh, yeah, we 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 also we also um, in terms of recruiting students, we also want we are trying hard to recruit students from different nationalities. That's another. Yes. Yes. It's a cultural diversity. Cultural diversity, we're also very keen on. Uh, Do you have overall, any target target percentage of the international students? Oh, we, we do have a target. Recently, we set a target. You know, in Hong Kong, we um, typically we admit 20% of uh, our 20% of the student body, or no more than 25%, uh, should be non local students, according to the government policy. Mm. And uh, we want, so among the non local students, which includes uh, mainland students. Uh, see, we, we hope to have 40% okay. from 60% uh, from the mainland and 40% from other than main, the mainland of China. Okay. That's very a good. diversity goal, but that's very uh, challenging to achieve. We will try our best. I and see. also by 2028, we, will, we want to reach a goal that every student mm. will spend at least a significant uh, program uh, equal to one three credit subject or a week. Uh, outside Hong Kong, either in the mainland or overseas uh, in somewhere else, because we want the students to be exposed yes. to a diverse, diverse, you know, uh, range of uh, cultures. Right. So we presume uh, this diversity from uh, different angles. Okay, very good. How about uh, teaching staff? Any teaching staff, uh, target uh, ratio of the international? No, we, we have another set. Target ratios. Um, mm. In Hong Kong, the hiring of staff is still mainly based on, it's based on the, the, the marriage of the person. Mm. And uh, we not we have not yet set a gender target for hiring. I see. Mm. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Then I come to the last question. Last question. What is your observation on civil engineering in Japan? Mm -hmm. What are the strengths and the weakness of civil engineer, engineering in Japan and Hong Kong? How do you compare? When you, you say have, uh, mm -hmm. when you say civil engineering, are you talking about the uh, civil engineering uh, construction industry or research? Yeah, construction or industry, okay, or well, even university education. Oh, I guess uh, 
I I don't understand the Japanese uh, university system too much. Yeah, I know yeah. you you separate uh, <coughs> civil from building, right? Yes, yes, that's uh, right. So they are separate. So in Hong Kong uh, or the UK uh, Western system or the main, even the mainland now, mm. the buildings and the civil engineering are now together. Mm. And so this is uh, something different from your system. Now, maybe each each system has its own advantages. Maybe your building graduates know a lot more about building, all aspects of buildings. Uh, but I think we certainly have a different system. So that's my understanding, if that's correct. Yes, uh, it's and then, correct. Yeah, and then I think uh, Japanese uh, construction industry, I think it was Japanese. We, we still in Hong Kong, we still have Japanese construction. Uh, yes, company. we do, yes. So yes. you have very advanced uh, construction technology. Uh, still something that is uh, world leading, I think, in many areas. So the only thing I think is that in Japan, you don't have as many construction projects as <laughs> uh, we have in Hong Kong or in the mainland, right? Because yes, your, pop yes. uh, your population right. is not growing. So uh, that means the, uh, the needs for new construction and therefore, the, the demand for research on the use of new materials, new construction technology is less. Yes, I guess yes. that's that's the difference. You know, uh, Japanese mm. research in uh, my impression is Japanese research in uh, seismic engineering is particularly strong because of the earthquakes yes. you have to face. And I had this, uh, you know, one time we were looking at. Um, uh, so Japanese research is also, you know, you 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 your researchers have a very good reputation of doing long-term research, very focused, mm. high quality. We, mm. uh, I was looking at uh, some durability studies, uh, you know, uh, some Japanese researchers, uh, Dr. Dai passed that to me. They did uh, 17 years of research on durability of FRB bars. Mm. I didn't find anybody else who did such a long experiment. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very good. Yeah, so yeah. really very high quality and, uh, you know, persistent work. So these mm. are the strengths I, I sense of the uh, Japanese research in uh, in civil engineering uh, i guess the as i said in the, the the if you if you say weakness it's not a weakness it's your it's your practical uh, demand mm -hmm. uh, which has gone down so that's a reality i guess uh, mm -hmm. so you still believe that uh, it's worthy for hong kong side to have industrial collaboration or educational collaboration with japan Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, in, in civil engineering, in civil yeah, engineering. Yeah, yeah, we can uh, learn all your good tricks. And uh, in fact, uh, before in December 2020, uh, one of my friends, he actually, um, he, he, he lives in Japan, you know, Ooh. half a year, I guess, every year. Uh, he linked us up with the uh, president of uh, Tokyo University. So we were about to mm -hmm. visit. But then, you know, because we had a campus, incident so we didn't go um i think when and as i mentioned the tokyo kyoto university is our a member of our social yes, responsibility right. network. so i think uh, once the uh, border travel is uh, restriction is gone i look forward to visiting japan i see the start uh, explore more collaboration with uh, japanese institutions mm. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. I think uh, I finished my all my questions. <laughs> thank you. Uh, well, you uh, thank you for you, Yeah, if you have any other question. Oh well, thank you very much for you for your um, for the opportunity uh, to uh, share some of my views with you. In yes. fact, I think uh, it just uh, it just came to my mind that if one day uh, you know in the near future uh, you could give us a just a uh, you know uh, a light presentation on, on the on the education system. Okay. Uh, yes, of yes. Engineering or civil engineering <laughs> on see. your research uh, setup because like in Japan you know you used to have a professor and then you have some uh, assistant professor uh, working with the professor is a big you know big person. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a different system. And yes, uh, yes. how 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 I you know you know in engineering technology research, how it was set up, uh, how it has evolved, and what's the situation now of engineering technology research, particularly civil engineering research and education. 
I think that would be very useful to us. I, okay. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, happy to do that. Yeah, I would suggest that the doctor. This is good, organize. good sign for Hong Kong side. You, you still have the interest in Japan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you very we much. Still, we still have a lot of uh, respect for the research and technology from Japan. So, I mean, even just uh, like not long ago, with all not long ago, the all the carbon fibers were we were importing yes, from. Yes, yeah. oh. that's right. So there are still many things for us to learn, and uh, I I will ask Doctor you know, to initiate this, and I can listen to you. Okay. Show. Yes. Yes. I'm uh, looking for. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.